Hello and welcome Crystal Souls on this new piggy card. Today we're going to talk about your future boyfriend or girlfriend. So of course this is going to be a very detailed portrait of your future person. So you can pick, we have three piles today available. We have pile number one, pile number two and pile number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards and the one or the ones calling you are going to be linked down below in the description or directly on the video. Let's now meditate together and breathe in. Hold your breath and breathe out, relax. And choose the pal or the pals calling you. So pal number one, we have a power couple. So expect someone who is entering your life and really changing your life for the better. I see two powerful beings finally meeting, finally expressing their love to each other. I see change also manifesting for you because we have the butterfly, of course. That's from Miraculous, so that is connected, of course, to the cartoon movie. But, of course, this might be a sign that change is manifesting for you, love-related. So, if you've been expecting somebody, wanting to date, this is a change that is coming for you. And you are about to encounter someone who is in their power state. They are somebody who is ready to commit, ready to confess their love to you and to change their life or change themselves and adapt to you. What I see as well is that you guys will be very different in the essence. You can see the ladybug and the, the cat. Sorry, my camera is acting crazy. Um, so maybe that's a sign as well that you guys come from two different environments or have two different deep profound personalities and that is good because this difference or these differences will complete the two of you and make you guys even more powerful and you bring something new and fresh and inspiring to your person and same thing from your partner your partner is going to inspire you and make you more powerful and more supported but also valued for who you are so let's see more hints about your future person qualities traits and future energy so, ooh, okay, a mysterious person is what I see with the moon card, someone very adventurous and hardworking, sometimes even too much, but I mean, you could see power couples, so of course they want to be popular or might be inspiring a lot of people with their purpose and mission, and I see that with this prophecy that might be manifesting for them career related but also love related so maybe that's actually a reading talking about your prophecy of love with this person so destiny is playing part in this connection the two of you are meant to be together perhaps you are going to be meeting on a trip or might be guided towards this person because i see first we have a path and then kind of like this portal opening with the two ones even the crystal ball is talking about direction, guidance. So yeah, I think you might be guided even possibly in dreams because we have the moon card. And here you can see the bridge. And the bridge to me is also a symbol of meeting. Meeting from two different places and meeting halfway. So in my opinion, these signs are showing you that your future person is going to be guided, transported to be then meeting you because this is part of your destiny and prophecy like i said to be together to unite and the two of wands is really got about future projection things we want to be doing together even trips travels future planning so this is what the two of you want in a loving relationship you want to have somebody you can count on that can support you guide you towards the best guide you towards your dreams and sometimes fears and insecurities because the moon is also connected as a symbol to our fears, insecurities or what is happening in the subconscious mind. So sometimes it's a bit dark or gloomy and that might connect to passing these challenges, fears, blockages together because you are indeed more powerful when you meet this person. That's why change is manifesting for the two of you to follow your dreams and we have the full moon here so that talks about completion even the full moon can talk about that circle aspect from the crystal ball so you might be in the same circle and we could see the full moon at first actually i'm just realizing that <laughs> what okay so yeah full moon full completion or fully feeling complete when together i'm really getting twin flame energy soulmate energy because when they come together they feel like one so this sense of 
oneness and support, understanding and power. And like, I can do whatever I want and I will succeed no matter what, even though it is difficult, even though I fear, even though I limit myself sometimes, I can achieve it. So with this loving relationship, I see the two of you just following it, not being fearful, not thinking too much, not carrying the burden of the past with you because you know this is too heavy, too torturous, too limiting and really stopping you to be experiencing what you truly deserve. So that is a sign if one of you is still carrying the past or carrying some type of fears, they will dissolve because when together this clears karma, this clears any type of clutter and that itself allows the two of you to trust, to love and to be opened for each other. So let's see a couple cards for you guys. Anything that is coming for you? What is your love prophecy then? <laughs> so I have been waiting for you. All right. So definitely again, like I said, possibly a twin flame, possibly a soulmate. So on a soul, on a soul level, they are indeed waiting for you. They want to make that relationship happen. But of course, it could be somebody that you have met before, started to possibly talk, exchange, or started to meet. And if you have somebody in mind, this is confirmation for you. I have been waiting for you. I have been waiting for that to evolve. In what? Into romance? I'm telling you. I told you, this is rather a twin flame so mate i was i was feeling it and this is confirming that so yes indeed and the thing is when i saw this first i was like oh really twin flame like but could be so mate too so this is perfect so if you do have a twin flame aka a twin soul if you don't know what that is i'm going to explain that real quick so before incarnation your soul can create two splits. So one split is mostly the divine masculine and divine feminine. And they choose two different embodiment incarnations. So sometimes it's actually a woman or a man or a man, men, it depends. But the essence of the soul is rather divine masculine, divine feminine, and your body <laughs> does not define anything. For example, I am my divine masculine, split of the soul, and I'm a woman, so it really does not matter. But what I see here is you are attracting someone who is destined to be with you, that's your prophecy to be together. So now it's the calling to really nurture that connection, if a twin flame, soulmate, counterpart, you name it, the label is not really important there, but destiny is really uniting two of you to be together, which is so exciting. So let's see traits and qualities from your person. But so far, I see someone who is adventurous, hardworking, they keep pushing, they keep hoping, they have big dreams, but also some type of insecurities too. Um, I also see someone who is very patient, you know, I've been waiting for you, I, I believe in us. They can be a bit possessive or very protective, as like you're mine and I don't want to share you. And maybe that's a sign if you've been trying to date somebody else than your twin flame or soulmate. I feel like your twin flame or soulmate can be very <laughs> disturbed by that because, I mean, you guys are designed to be, so they don't want to see you trying to find somebody else they want you just for themselves but they're very empathetic and very understanding so don't think that's in a very negative way it's just they are craving for you and they want you just for them that's all and yes so empathetic they feel you they understand you even from the distance because you may have a telepathic connection and ability to tap into each other's energy or thoughts or emotions and so they feel you they understand you even when you guys are not together in a 3d so that is something to be aware um, and you can utilize this portal and I could I could see that portal with the ones like she is about to enter that portal and lead towards a better you know a better future or better love and maybe you are at that phase in your life where 
you know, you haven't met people that were right for you. That's why the spikes, like this was very torturous, karmic and heavy. And now you're leading towards clarity and this new portal of energy is bringing you towards somebody who is going to make you more powerful, who is going to make you feel loved and understood because they are your other half literally <laughs> all right unless that's a soulmate they are just somebody another soul that sorry i picked the same deck uh another soul that you've met in other lifetimes so they're not related to your soul but they're more like your soul family so that's the difference so let's see more about this amazing connection i was not expecting something that spiritual but i like it i like it so we take that <laughs> so let's see oh you guys can be artist too because that's from a painting so or maybe a date a future date can also be going to the museum or going to some type of exposition something related to arts can be music too, because this one is playing the instrument. It could be someone who is introverted, because we have the cat on this card as well. Could be hints. So make sure to pay attention to every symbol you can see and what they tell you especially. So sharing. So sharing moments is what I see. Getting news from this person and waiting for your return. It's funny. There's a lot of waiting there. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys are tired of waiting for each other. You want to be sharing moments. You want to get news from them. And you will. Because that is all the sign that this is all moving in 3D. And you guys will be starting to spend some time together and exchange especially together. So this is what you can expect with this one. Getting news, sharing good moments, possibly go for a drink because you can see that with this card, with sharing. If you are in contact or even no contact as well, you may receive messages. So if you're in contact, this can be a text, this can be a DM. If you are not in contact, this can be in your dreams and I talked about this or telepathic abilities to transfer messages. And you can utilize that too. If you have a twin flame in mind, even if you don't know your twin flame, just setting the intention to share that message or share that, you know, telepathic visual, because you can send rather messages, visuals, flashes to your twin flame or soulmate, you can do so. And so they can get news from you. And as for the desk, I see this as a sign that you can be working or collaborating together. Maybe that will be the start or maybe later on you can be building something together. And I see their spirit indeed visiting you. At the top of the roof, you can see that spirit form appearing. And maybe their spirit is trying to visit you because you have been waiting for them. And they're telling you, look, I'm on the way. I'm appearing beyond the physical form. And yes, that's a thing. So pay attention to that. And so then we can unite physically or be in the 3D together. But I feel like in other dimensions, this person is always around. And I'm sure you receive a lot of signs from this person. Sometimes because you don't know the person yet, this may not make sense. But if you see a name, a place that appears repeatedly, or if you see, maybe that's a number as well. All that are signs. So let's see places where you guys can be meeting or places that might be symbolic for you. But so far, I can see trips. I can see mysterious places as well. House. Working together. Maybe going to a cafe and then meeting somebody. Could be the sign too. So going for a drink. We have the game club. We talked about concerts, exposition of art. Yes, all of that. Especially um, after work and game club. So these could be ways to encounter your person all right so game club i think of you know maybe some gaming online or it could be if you go to a place and start playing board games let's say with your friends you can also be meeting that person or after work and we saw working place maybe after work going on a date i don't know <laughs> but maybe that could be the sign for you guys so let's continue i'm going to move these on the side and i have different techniques that is a bit different different today, but I think this will be very fun. So I'm going to start, okay, I'm going to start first with the Zodiac grid. And by the way, I forgot to talk about this, um, but we had Pisces, fire sign, 
and again fire sign so that's a plus but let's see what the grid will show us for group number one so what is your person zodiac sign or maybe a season that is important so gemini pisces again <laughs> aquarius capricorn and scorpio so i'm going to move these and pick this grid which is going to be a bit different and i am going to be using dice as well so in all these categories we can see information researches visuals maybe flashes that you received and a strategy let's see what the dice will tell us okay so research no no you have no research to make but information this person is somebody that you may not know or might be mysterious you can i'm gonna show you a close-up so it's easier for you um information about maybe their location where they live or maybe that's a sign that this person is looking for you know a place at the moment and I see that they might feel like they are not enough or don't have enough to find a strategy to meet you. But they feel very peaceful about you guys, you know, starting to date and get to know each other. There's someone who is very generous. That's possibly why they feel like they don't have enough because they always give to the people. And for the visual, they might be sending you signals of a future kiss. So if you have dreams about that, maybe that's a sign. And no, they have their eyes on you. You can see that one eye and you can see the eye here. I think this is so connected. So that is the rating, guys. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to claim this beautiful energy down below. If you want some personal guidance, the tools and the merch as well, which I'm wearing one right now, the lovers. <laughs> I'm gonna try to show you. Um, but yeah, this is linked down below if you guys are interested, but check it out. It's better on pictures. Yes, I will see you guys next time. Join the membership if you want to. Take Good care of you. Bye bye. So, Palma 2, let's see more about your future boyfriend or girlfriend. But what I see right away is that you guys might be meeting in the astral, which can be in dream state or while you meditate or while they meditate. Because I see some soul meeting, the girl visiting. Day. <laughs> actually when he meditates but of course that is you and your person someone that is vibing with you connecting with you spiritually and so you meet each other halfway and your souls are really bonding beyond this physical reality so what this tells me is that you possibly have a soul bond soul connection or soul contract to then be together in this lifetime and this love is very very potent that is something that you cannot deny or separate or ignore because this like i said is part of your destiny so let's continue and see some traits and qualities about your person but so far i see someone who is grounded who could be very mature very spiritual very open very creative i also see someone who is very good at communicating energies or and connecting with the divine manifesting things is quite easy for this person too because they are aligned they are really structured in a way their soul is very connected to source and the universe so let's see okay way too many cards <laughs> so let's shuffle again and pick two or three cards for group number two anything related to your future person okay so we'll take these we have somebody who is indeed hardworking and successful. You can see that with the pentacles energy. So eight of pentacles, it's about collecting the money, harvesting, getting what you want, building that that is very important for you. So I see someone who is career oriented or very good at manifesting amazing things. And it's funny because I talked about this before. Someone who is just very good and aligned to be manifesting the dream. And can you see that strength? as the offer energy so their mind is indeed very powerful and attracts their way anything they desire you can see the infinite sign again they kind of like like this one you know they connect their hands holding hands here holding hands here i'm gonna take this one because i feel like this one is really connected which was the overall energy for the deck so that shows the power 
and this powerful connection, strength, and they are themselves very strong, very, you know, independent with their work or just very animated by what they do. So if you want somebody who is stable financially, mentally, especially, yes, this is what I see here. That's why the strong mind is attracting their way whatever they desire and what they put energy and work into they achieve that and this is why they're so happy because they know everything is possible for me and I can achieve it. So that is really the personality and the energy from your person. Someone who is really unstoppable and they believe in themselves and their project so much that of course they do attract fame, success and money. As for these two, I think these are connected. This person is going through some transformation. So before that state, okay, so if you meet this person and you feel, oh, this is not really what I, really what I saw, <laughs> it's okay because that, I, that is actually a level up, a glow up because they are coming from that place of worries and a lot of questions in their mind and possibly yourself you feel the same way you feel like life has been a bit challenging these days or really showing you um like how to become stronger how to become more resilient and how to become the person that your future self is supposed to be but before that actually the death card is a very beautiful card because and you can see the scenery is actually beautiful. It's nothing torturous. It's like new chapter, new chance and new horizons. So if you welcome new ideas, new mindsets, new perspectives and not worry, <laughs> that's especially the key to make change. So when you stop being in that energy or feeding this energy, this is then when you do jump in that reality. And possibly you can utilize astral projection or astral quantum jumping or soul quantum jumping or just try meditations and you'll see what I'm talking about. But when you utilize these things, boom, this is when you shift, you know, this energy from, ah, I'm not, I'm not good enough, I cannot do anything that I want, you know, you know. Stop. You're not a victim and you create your reality. So this is what this person is really stepping into. Possibly discovering about the law of attraction, the laws of the universe, working with that. Then angels and yourself will be meeting with your soul or in your soul form and assisting each other to be in a place of empowerment but also you are going to feel unstoppable and they will feel the same way. So that's why this is no longer valid or will no longer be valid when you meet this person because this person is awakening, awakening from the programming, the BS that has been projected on earth with education and people and, you know, that negative mindset about what's projected on the news all the time or like things that you hear around you, like you cannot be that person, like who do you think you are, stay at your place, no, you stay in your reality and I create mine and this is when you change that you know, sucker or a loser energy, because that energy is a choice. And when you decide you want to be that person, you want to be in your power state, then this is when you create this possibility and reality. So this is what I see for your person. They are themselves leveling up, glowing up and changing the game for the better. So that is very inspiring and I'm sure this might be a message for yourself too, to recognize, yes, you are the creator, yes, you, you manifest your destiny and your future. This is all a matter of choosing and being strong enough to make these changes and work on becoming the person that you want to be and getting the things that you want while putting the work into it. But same thing for love. If you want to start dating, if you want your lover to come, then take action. Don't wait. Because I see a lot of comments. Because yes, I do read all your comments, guys. I see a lot of comments. It's like, I have been watching single readings for years or for months and I'm not seeing anybody coming. I'm like, are you the one taking action too? Are you the one who is, you know, possibly putting yourself out there, going on 
dates um are you talking to new people are you maybe on a dating app do something about it because even though you receive these messages it doesn't mean sit on your ass and do nothing sorry but it's like that like if you want something go get it do you believe these successful people that you admire were just sitting there and waiting for their blessings to come no they did put the work into it same for love Although some people, they feel like love is supposed to just come and appear like that. It can, it can be. But most of the time, it's because somebody did take action. Somebody made the first move. Or somebody possibly downloaded an app and then suddenly you meet somebody. There's always something that triggers a result. So if you want result, be the trigger. Take the action. That is very important. So that's a message for you guys to not be passive when you want something. Show up and show the universe, I'm ready. I take action, I show up, I want a date, I want a boyfriend, I want a girlfriend. Okay, I'm gonna get it. And I am responsible for what I manifest. And and please don't shoot the messengers because sometimes it's like I've been watching readings for years and I'm still single. Like, this is not my fault that you are single. This is your responsibility to find a way to manifest a lover. So be mindful about it. I would never, (laughs) because I'm, I'm aware I create my reality, I would never say a guru I'm listening to or comment on a tarot reader, this is your fault I'm, I'm single. Because while saying I'm single for so many years, even though I'm watching these readings, so what is wrong? Well, the thing is, I'm responsible. So you are responsible for your own destiny. So be strong now. You know, you create your reality. So if you show up, results will show up. Easy. So welcome home and I don't want to pretend anymore sharing secrets. That is very good because I see complicity, wanting to share everything, wanting to bond and connect. And you could see that with the cards. So this person is walking, is welcoming, sorry, maybe walking, I don't know, <laughs> but welcoming you home because possibly they have been waiting themselves. <laughs> what? freak why are you guys waiting for opportunities go get these opportunities create yourself opportunities but they are welcoming you they are really impatient to get to know you to share secrets with you and build more intimacy with you because they cannot pretend anymore they want to be more physical with you this is why you can see that passionate scene so yes They are craving for you, calling for you, seeing you, feeling you, and they are welcoming right now this new chapter, this new chance to be together. So let's see traits and qualities, but so far, hardworking, strong-minded person, someone who is not afraid to be more independent, someone who is wanting transformation, change, they always love to evolve, to get better, to learn, to level up. This is the person here. Their mind is strong and focused on what to achieve. They are action-oriented people. So I'm not seeing them waiting. I just believe you might be at that stage in that relationship where you are still moving in a 3D to find each other. So here we have someone who is family-oriented and caring. So they might want or they might love to spend time with their family. So if you have a strong bond and strong connection with their family, big plus for them because that is very important for them. But if um, if this person wants kit, you might possibly be open for that because I see family. But of course, if you don't want kids and they do not want kids either, it can just be that sense of home welcome home that's us as family or we are from the same soul family maybe that's another code and someone with caring so they will do very you know caring loving things for you so it could be a gift could be cooking for you building something for you or if something is not working they may just be like it's okay, I'm gonna fix that. So yes, there are someone who is in their strong masculine father essence. Like, I'm in charge. I can take care about you. That's really the vibe I'm getting from your future person here. So, father or mother? Because it depends who is watching here. But we have a strong masculine energy. I'm not gonna lie to you. So let's see more cards. 
opening your wings, feeling your absence, and singing the same symphony. Yes, indeed. I do believe a lot of you guys are just feeling very abundant. Or like I said, like, where is my person? <laughs> I've been waiting for so long. Well, that person is coming. Or to not say, this person is there already. But maybe there's a little step you need to, to make and open your wings for this absence or this loneliness to di dissipate and disappear. So singing the same symphony can really talk about connection, bonding, or just really that compatible aspect of the connection, or just the two of you. You sing the same energy, the same symphony, or maybe that's a sign you might go to a concert together, or one of you is playing some type of instrument, especially piano here, could be different of course, but they can have this sensitivity for art. Reading books can also be things that you talk about. For example, oh, I read that book, you should read that book. You know, maybe that's about exchanging about ideas or sharing about your story. Maybe that's a sign too. But this sense of loneliness or feeling your absence is going to dissipate. But I see that the feminine, and I'm talking about energy, I'm not talking about the physical, the feminine is meant to open her wings to fly with this person maybe that's why she's flying there spiritually and meeting this person but oh when we have a first date <laughs> as the overall energy so this is all coming i'm telling you it's just there is something that needs to be done action or starting to be more social or like i said downloading a dating app i don't know but whatever you feel guided to do this is going to be the answer for you. So I see places where you can be meeting this person. I'm really getting going for a picnic, going for a concert together, uh, maybe going to each other's place, cooking dinner or just having breakfast together, waking up, feeling cozy, possibly living together in the near future too. And you can see a walk in the park here. So yeah, very connected to what we saw. But let's see, other places that might be more symbolic, possibly at, at work, not at home, at work, a, now, a night out. So if you plan to go for a drink with a friend or just go out at night, yes, this, this is totally what you're supported to do. And the convenience store. So it could be really random, like random places out of nowhere. So be open for that. Of course, that can also be a scene where when you meet the person, you might go to a convenience store, buy something and possibly go home together. So night out and the convenience store. And because we have a dog appearing here, that is another sign from your person that this one is going to be faithful because the dog is about fidelity. So let's move these on the side. Oh, before I move on, before I move on. So for the signs, we have Leo, we have Earth signs, Scorpio and Air. So could be, I'm going to pick next the grid so we can see the zodiac sign of your person or if not zodiac sign could be the season as well so season when you meet for example so let's see so we have gemini pisces and capricorn it's funny because i was about to say capricorn because um like the first card you picked is taeyong from bts and he is a capricorn so that's why I, mean, I wasn't sure, so now it's confirming my intuition. So for this technique, this is going to be a bit different. I'm going to be using... <laughs> I can't speak today! I'm going to be using dice and using the grid so we can get information, maybe a strategy, a visual, a flash, maybe appearance-wise, and researches. Okay. Oh. There's something in the middle. So let's start with research. I feel <laughs> I feel there is somebody around that might be making researches about you, but I'm not saying I'm I'm or maybe that's the scenario. So when starting to date, there will be somebody a bit envious and jealous, you can see that influence just behind him, not really happy. So Maybe that's about an ex or somebody that may make researches about you when you start to appear as a couple. 
As for visual, I see someone who is very beautiful, charming, glowing, very attractive, and they might look very rich or might wear things um, like pieces of luxury, so big brands or, you know, stuff like that, because I see the treasure as like, I have enough, and you could see, like, that's the king of pentacles, so of course, you might be attracting a rich man or rich girl, so they love to appear luxurious and as for the night i see that they have this confident vibe about them so that is all about the look let's see now a strategy i feel like they are really glowing up so that's their strategy to reach out to you and to seduce you they have this um, bare energy which is about protection family and we could see a person that is indeed strong and family oriented so i think that connects perfectly with the personality i could see on the cards and as for this one in the middle so information strategy visual and research we have this little rug for me i think of aladdin <laughs> so um, Maybe that's about flying high with the person, finding more information about, you know, the trip or the adventures you get together. And their strategy is to go out with you a lot and, you know, see you a lot. And so they can make more researches or get more information about you. So I see future dates especially coming up for you. So that is the rating, guys. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments. If you want some personal guidance, the merch, which I'm wearing right now. We have the Lovers t-shirt, but check it out. This is better on picture. You can also get my couple cards and the tools I use. Join the membership, of course, so you can get exclusive tour readings. And yes, I will see you guys next time. Take good care of you. Bye-bye. Group number three, let's see what is coming for you and more hints about your future boyfriend or girlfriend. So my heart is calling for you. Right away, I see a deep connection. You can be texting, calling, or in contact with this person. If not, this might be the near future for you. Encountering somebody, possibly on the phone, maybe through social media, maybe a dating app, or some other apps or things that you use on your phone maybe that's someone who is about to get your number you may maybe a stranger that you meet while walking and they ask for your number so if so because that could be the opportunity for you unless you really don't like this person then don't give it of course but you got the point so i love you and i love you too so there is indeed confession and expressing you guys's feelings to each other but their heart is calling for you right now they feel the attraction they want to be with you they want to meet out of you know the cell phone so if this is starting online they will plan a meeting with you possibly very quickly because they feel a connection with you they also don't want to miss their chance to be with someone like you and so they might be confessing that they do have feelings they do feel a connection with you and they want to feel you they want to kiss you so let's see more hints about your future person and future together anything we need to know with the tarot cards okay oh right <laughs> so we have the king of wands i'll take the ones which felt facing up oh okay very very interesting cards because i see power i see power i see a deep attraction emotionally i see someone who feels like sometimes they are not good enough or don't have enough even though they are in a power power place and from two the two sides because we have the feminine who is a queen and the masculine who is a king but I feel like their inner child, or maybe that talks about their past, they could have been in one environment that was not prosperous or just not very healthy. So, for example, unsupportive parents or uh, things at school that were, you know, not easy for them to experience. So, I think of bullies, I think of judgment, I think of... And it doesn't have to be only in younger days but i see that this person has been a bit challenged and shaken up because people or circumstances were just very difficult 
So I think when being a kid, this person could have been in situations that most kids did not experience. And this was very difficult for this person. But thanks to that, actually, this person leveled up. And I think this is why, even though they appear like, I'm, you know, I'm the best or I'm confident, I'm happy. Deep down, they are wounded. You can see the masculine here, like, like I said with shining, smiling, vibing, glowing. And here, I think in your company, it's going to be different. If you are the feminine, of course, depends which character you associate yourself to. But this can be both dynamics, you know. Wounded people can also come together and heal each other. So yes, deep down, they feel this way. But with you, they can really feel like, okay, I can be myself. I'm really getting the Little Mermaid type of scene, <laughs> you know, when she saves, um, like, Eric from drowning and just, you know, maybe that's that type of story, storyline that I can see here. But also... What I see, because you're calling for each other, you may be calling for each other when you feel down. You want to be opened. You might feel like, I can be vulnerable with this person. I don't need to hide like what's going on. And this is a good sign when somebody is able and feels comfortable to confess about what is going on, whether it's positive or negative. This is when they trust you. This is when they show you, I feel comfortable with you. And so I can open up. So that's what you're going to feel with this person. You can be meeting at a special event. This is what this card is announcing. And you can see the way is just like going down the stairs. Like, hey, what's up? I was expecting you. So Pops, this special event is going to really bring the two of you closer. Or this special event can be what you do create and what you do, you know, plan for you guys to be together so planning a date or planning to go to a special event that can be how this starts or maybe future things you guys will do because honestly i see power couple energy so if you was hesitant about pile number one and this one maybe they are connected because we have queen and king so two powerful beautiful beings about to be together and about to build something beautiful and strong together so this is special indeed so let's see more romantic trip okay <laughs> so maybe this is what you plan on the phone as well you might plan a future trip or plan to be visiting each other we have paris which could be a symbol or just a place you want to be visiting and traveling to even this card water energy the waves the beach maybe that's a sign of trips or you can be talking on the phone about trips you want to make or visit like places that you want to visit maybe paris is one of them or if you are from france and you feel like guided to go to paris this can also be where you guys can be meeting or where this person is coming from could be for some people here um what else do i see Although, like, yes, it could be a city person, but I feel like they grew up in one environment that could have been like a, a small city or even a village, you know, because I think they have roots in a place where it's less crowded and possibly more close minded. I'm sorry, but, you know, places like villages, you have people that are not the most uh, avant garde, let's say. So, it could be the energy here. But we have a romantic trip you can expect with a person in the future. So they can be adventurous. They can be outgoing. And honestly, fire energy, which is wands, um, it talks about someone who is animated, curious, passionate, talkative. Um, they have this aura, this glow effortlessly. And they're very bubbly, very funny. They know how to talk to a crowd. They know how to connect and bond with people to make them feel special. So that's why they're vibrating and glowing so much. Like their energy, I can feel, is very strong and also very confident. So I wouldn't be surprised if you're attracting a fire sign. I think of Leo. Um, I think of Capricorn energy as well. Let me think. What else? Gemini too. Gemini is what I think about. And it could be a water sign too because we have cups. So for the traits of your person, we have somebody who is very smart. And they might want to indeed 
better themselves and improve and grow and be somebody that can inspire a lot of people. And with that, they know they have to be the best. They know they have to be the most knowledgeable person ever. And they're very considerate. And when they look at you, like, for example, you need support if you're falling asleep in the bus, they will just appear and be that type of savior. So, yeah, this is what you can expect from your person with little attentions because they do pay attention to you and they are very considerate with their action, their moves and with their perspective. So smart and considerate for these two. Let's continue and see what can you expect with this person, future energy, on top of the roof. <laughs> so this card is really showing success, success, celebration, and you could see that is indeed someone who is on top of their games, and they are able to manifest and attract the best their ways, and this is because they're smart with their decision. You can see the planning, reading books, again, because you could see that too here. Or maybe you, you will talk about books that you have been rating and collecting stars. So this itself talks about, of course, destiny. So collecting memories together, creating a bond. But this talks about collecting success as well. So this person is indeed wanting to become successful and popular. Honestly, I would not be surprised if this person is a social media influencer, maybe a social traveler or maybe someone who is traveling for their career or maybe they will be planning that to you know get a degree at a different place i don't know maybe that could be the sign as well for example let's say they come from um germany let's say they come from germany they may travel to paris to study or they might be having a job at a like a different place you know something like this can actually be the dynamic i'm getting that i'm getting here so on top of the roof they feel indeed in a position where they are powerful and will become more powerful and for collecting stars like i said i see someone who is very good at attracting opportunities and success for themselves which is good but that can talk about destiny too collecting someone in their star family or soul family which i think you are one of them so let's see places now so where you guys can be meeting but so far we have paris we have a special event online phone mm -hmm. maybe on the bus or transportation i think of library or rather school with the books a concert a show interesting <laughs> so or maybe that could be events that you want to share together or they can be someone who is in these industries and starbucks and again we have the baguette so paris vibes indeed <laughs> but i think of new york with this one too so the concert or maybe a show and Starbucks, or while you go for a coffee or a drink in the morning, you can be meeting this person. So these were the places. So like I said, this person can be a water sign, fire sign, or earth sign. I'm telling you that because I'm going to be using right now a grid, and this grid is going to show you zodiac signs. So this way we can get more information so zodiac so signs can rather be the zodiac sign of your person or this can be the season when meeting your person so let's see okay so we have i see cancer virgo a little bit <laughs> virgo libra aries and gemini so these are the signs now let's use this other grid so we can get information a strategy visuals and research and i'm gonna use dice for this one so all around might just be the energy but not classified so i see a shift and change here like from a house to a tower and we could see someone who was you know, growing in one environment that was possibly poor or maybe they had a poor family and you can see that here like with empty pockets 
And this is what made the person really want to succeed. I see this conqueror energy with this one, like with the swords, like I can do it. I have a plan. Oh, and this was the, um, the bear. So the bear itself talks about protection. This talks about family. So maybe that gives you background stories about what happened with their family. But they were wanting to defend their project, to believe in themselves and make that successful. So their strategy was indeed to become rich, to give back. I think they think about their family, even though it was not the easiest family or easiest environment to grow in in they are like robin they want to you know give back and provide back be the one who is able to make enough money and find a, a strategy to become abundant and generous so for the visual i see that they might appear as someone who is indeed determined and hardworking. and as for research they are researching or searching for love, as you can tell with this one. So that is the sign that this person is ready to commit, ready to experience and feel love with you, which is very, very good. So make sure to claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments. Subscribe if you want some personal guidance, the tools, the couple cards, or even the merch, which I'm wearing, I'm wearing right now. We can find everything linked down below. Make sure to join the membership if you want some exclusive tarot readings and check my other readings appearing on the screen or on my channel because I have hundreds of them. I think more than 600. So check them out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.